Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are taking a look at the top tweaks that are compatible on the A12 Chimera Jailbreak. Now these tweaks are compatible on older devices as well, but in this video, we're focusing on tweaks that have just been updated for A12 support on the latest Chimera Jailbreak build. So very quickly before we start, definitely like, comment, and subscribe this video. And if you guys are looking for the tweak and source list, definitely check out our best tech info article. It is the first link down below in the description of this video or in your cards now. All right, well, without wasting any time, let's get directly into the top tweaks. So first up, let's go ahead and talk about some dark mode tweaks. We have Noctis 12, as well as Dune, which is a free alternative to that. And it makes your dock dark, your control center dark, and your widgets and notifications and things like that. Now, continuing along the lines of dark mode tweaks, we also have Eclipse 12, which again has been updated recently as well to make applications have dark mode. As you guys can see, my settings app is completely dark. This is applicable on other apps as well. Mishuha Infinity adds this awesome music visualizer right here on the lock screen, also within the Spotify as well as the Apple Music applications. So for the next one, let's get rid of that annoying volume HUD. We either have Sonos 12, Ultrasound, or Melior. All three have been updated for A12 support. Right now, I'm currently rocking Sonos 12, which places that volume indicator right there, up in the notch, right behind the time. Next up, I also have floating dock right here at the bottom, which adds the iPad style dock to iPhones. So you can have more than four icons. You also have the recently used icons right here, and you also have gesture controls for multitasking. You can swipe over to the left to pull down the notification center, or you can swipe over to the right to pull down the control center. And lastly, if you swipe down, it pulls up reachability. And right here, I have this tweak called Reach It, which brings the music controls in your reachability area. So pulling down the notification center, I have Notifica to bring this color to the applications and have this redesign of my notifications as well. Also as a side note, Color Banners 2 was also updated as well, so either of those do the exact same thing. And with color banners, we also have color badges too, which colorizes the badges based on the application color. Cilio is a light blue, settings app is a dark gray, and both of these applications right here are a dark blue. So as you guys can see, I have my battery percentage right here up in the top right. Now I'm actually doing this with Bazzi, and this tweak works perfectly fine on the iPhone 10s, but unfortunately it hasn't been updated for the 10s Max or 10 are if you guys want the bar around the notch or anything like that. But this battery percentage right here can also be achieved with a free tweak called Battery Percent 12. So for theming, as you guys can see, I have a custom theme called Lotus on my home screen. Both Anemone and Snowboard have been updated, so you can pick and choose whichever one you like better. Hide Bar X gets rid of the home bar at the bottom of your iPhone. And in place of that bar, I have bar emoji. And then right here on the keyboard, I have color board, which basically colorizes the keyboard based on the application that you're in. Safari is blue, and as you guys just saw, messages is actually green. And that was kind of a sneak peek right there of another tweak called BioProtect XS. So you can lock applications with Face ID. And I personally like to have this because other people can use your phone then. I don't have any Face ID on the home screen right there, on the lock screen, I guess, to get in my device. But with BioProtect X, only certain applications are Face ID protected. Lastly, while we're in the Messages app here, I also have this tweak called Whoops, which basically adds a three second delay before actually sending your text message, and you can cancel it before it's sent if you didn't mean to send it or if there's a spelling error or something like that. Now, if you guys do have a passcode enabled as well as Face ID, Auto Unlock X will automatically take you to the home screen once your device is unlocked. So, Call Bar XS has been updated. It's a minimal calling interface instead of the full screen interface that comes default, and it works for FaceTime calls as well. And you can actually invoke it by double tapping on the status bar, just like that, 
to start dialing. Along with that, by the same developer, Small Surrey has also been updated. So once again, there's a Small Surrey interface instead of the full screen interface. Now, there are some awesome OLED tweaks. One right here for notifications is called Messages Bubbles. We also have a short look, which looks something like that. That one is probably my favorite. And then very lastly, Hyperion has also been updated as well. I'm happy to say that copy log has also been updated and this basically keeps a history of everything that's been in your clipboard. So you can quickly go back and copy it and then paste it in once more as well. Vesta has also been updated. So it's this awesome app drawer right here. You can add favorites, it has your recents. And then again, you have a list of all your applications and then you can just invoke it by swiping up right there on the bottom right. Double tap lock is also updated, so you can just double tap anywhere on the home screen to unlock your device just like that. Now, unfortunately, power module as well as pull to respring, they have yet to be updated for A12 support. So I found this application called Power App, which basically lets you perform a quick respring. You can also run refresh cache if certain icons are not appearing. So we'll go ahead and do a respring. Now, a really cool one that is pretty new is called Six, which brings the iOS 6 slide to unlock lock screen back to your devices. And this one actually looks pretty good on the iPhone XS Max. So we can just slide to unlock just like that. And there we are back on the home screen. For everyone on an iOS 12 beta, no beta expired alert gets rid of that annoying prompt every single time you guys unlock your devices. And again, another great one that's kind of hard to demo on video is called Haptic Keys, which brings haptic feedback to the keyboard. So when you guys are searching for things, there's haptic feedback on every key press. Pencil charging indicator is back as well, being updated to include A12 support. So when you guys plug your device into power, you get this awesome little notification right there. Now the last two are ones that we've done videos about before, but definitely check out Snapback. That was just recently updated as of today for Chimera support. So it is perfectly safe to use to have multiple jailbreak setups. If you guys wanna go back to stock iOS for fun, start a new setup and then save that. And if you ever wanna return back to this current setup, just create a snapshot and it will revert you back to that. Another one as well, as you guys might have seen, I also have Cydia on my Chimera jailbreak. Again, this is an A12 device, my 10s Max right here, running Cydia. And again, this is done with Cydia installer. We also have a video dedicated just to this as well. I will link both of those down below or in your cards now. Anyway guys, as you can tell, a ton of tweaks were immediately updated within the first 48 hours of the Chimera Jailbreak being released for A12 support. I hope this gives everyone an idea of what can be achieved on this brand new Jailbreak on the latest flagship devices by Apple. Anyway guys, thank you so much for stopping by today and watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely like, comment, and subscribe before you head out. If you missed any of the tweaks in this video or want the sources to install them, definitely check out our Best Tech Info article. Anyway, thank you again so much for watching and for the incredible support. But until next time, this is Tony signing out. <laughs>
Thank you.